it's kind of cool how you can now personalize the exterior lights on some of the new models that Coachman Catalina has started to come out with. Ranging from a variety of colors, from red, green, pink, purple, you get to select and personalize your camper the way you want to. Makes it that much easier when searching for your camper amongst several others at a campground. But what's going on everyone? I'm Andrew with Camper Kingdom and today we're going to be doing a brand new 2022 Coachman Catalina Model 303 RKDS rear kitchen floor plan with CP room for about four, maybe five, just really depending on the size of your guest. We're going to start on the outside of the coach going over its different features before heading inside. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below and let's get started. Coming out, you 36 feet, 11 inches of total length with two total slides is this 2022 Coachman Catalina Model 303 RKDS. Rear kitchen floor plan with sleeping room for about four or five individuals. It's really depending on the size of your guests to come along with you. Driveway does this model currently sits of 7,948 pounds. And speaking of weight, here on the ball of your truck, 1,000. 86 pounds 10 inch i-beam construction 96 inches wide and it's going to be stabilized from one of the four scissor jacks found on each of the four corners there electric tongue jack in the front with two 20 pound propane bottles and that is the battery disconnect switch there two coleman mock air conditioners and that right there we have there's a 100 watt solar panel which is just enough to send over a Trinco charge to the house battery, maybe extending the life of the battery a little bit longer. When these campers get put in storage, those batteries tend to lose their charge. And by having a panel and a controller to monitor that battery life will extend the life of the, ba the battery. Washer and dryer prepped. But if you don't opt for the washer and dryer, you'll have more exterior storage. But this compartment is where the washer and dryer would go if you chose to have that half inch thick baggage doors with your traditional style twisty lock there fully enclosed underbelly 21 foot all electric awning which does have those multicolored led lights underneath and the only downside i can possibly think of is if you lose the remote to change the color of the lights i think it would probably be a little bit of a headache maybe to reprogram another remote to to control them here on the back of the coach, there's a shot of the rear stabilizers there. Luggage rack found on the back with a 200 pound low capacity. Outdoor refrigerator. This must be plugged into shore power. That's what that cord is there. In order for this refrigerator to work, it's not gonna work off the vehicle power or the battery power. Not a 12 volt refrigerator. Six gallon gas or electric hot water heater. Those lights look really, really nice up there. You guys probably can't see it because of the sun. It's just a terrible time right now for the light. But here on the back of the coach, if you decide to fill the fresh water holding tank, found back here on the back, that's where this nozzle here is for. Holding capacity on the fresh water tank, right at 44 gallons. Now, as you can tell, that's that main power core plugged into the back area here. Blindside camera prep. And if you've ever had an opportunity to work with one of those systems, they're really nice, really fun to work with. Two rack and pinion slides. Not gonna have the cable driven slides like some of the other models we carry. The flashing around the wheels. Normally, like over here, you got a plastic. These are more of a aluminum. Sewer connections on this coach, you got three different ones. This one right here is mainly for your washer and dryer. This is gonna be the front bathroom. And that one back there is the rear kitchen model. 80% tan on all the windows and you can kind of see through seeing some of those lights they do a really great job just blocking out some of that natural light there and here's a shot of the main storage compartment magnetic latches to keep all those up out of the way and that's the 40 amp charger to control that 100 watt panel found over there on the roof coming around let me give you a shot of some of the outside stickers and these stickers really tell a lot about a camper so much information just right here by the door 
inch you do on this coach, you're looking at right at 24 inches wide, 70 inches tall, and it does have a friction hinge to prevent it from swinging back, causing any further damage to your coach on a high wind day. Here inside model 303 RKDS, two total sides with only one side found in your kitchen area slash sleeping room, giving you around 14, almost 15 feet of walking space. Sleeper sofa, sleeper booth with some additional storage found underneath as well, and both of these here are gonna be recliners. Stainless steel appliances found inside this model with a 10 cubic foot electric refrigerator. This does work off that built-in 100 watt solar panel found on the roof. And just look at all the counter space the rear kitchen model always provides you with. In my opinion, the rear kitchen floor plan is gonna give you the most counter space and the best separation between the rooms out of all the other floor plans found on the market. 40 inch Connex TV, and that's gonna be your AM FM radio, Bluetooth capable right over here with a 40 inch electric fireplace producing around 5,000 BTUs of heat. But if you don't camp in the winter, you can turn the heat off and just utilize some of the lights to assist your guests with moving about. You will have some carpet inside the model. Inside the slide box, as well as in your bedroom, you'll have some carpet. Breeze windows inside the slide box, but the windows on the side are just gonna be a picture window. And I will lay out all your sleeper sofa and lay flat the sleeper booth closer towards the end to show you how much walk around space you'll possibly have. 10.7 cubic inch GE refrigerator, which does work off the vehicle power while going down the road. But if you don't wanna use the battery at all. Maybe you just want to turn off the refrigerator. They're giving you this added switch on the side. That way you can disconnect this to save the life of the battery if you don't want to have power running to your refrigerator. Plenty of counter space. Like I said, just I love the rear kitchen floor plans because of all the counter space is going to give you. One tent outlets found on both sides, maybe for a crock pot or coffee pot. Stainless steel drop-in sink, 50-50 split, and you do have those additional leaflets to extend the prepping range there. Check out the new Greystone ovens. That's a little bit different. Maybe room for a pan of biscuits. Three-eye burner on the top with this glass leaflet to extend again some of the range. High point microwave with a low profile hood vent there. There's a shot of some of your cabinetry over here. One thing I thought was kind of cool, it's always a simple thing, is they give you this little divider we just to assist you with possibly reaching through back there to the back. It's pretty deep on your cabinets there. More additional pullouts found down here. And they give you this little organizer for all of your silverware. Sitting in at your sleeper booth here, plenty of room in the theater seats, maybe just to recline, kick back and watch this nice big 40 inch TV. Before heading to the front of the coach, I went ahead and laid flat the sleeper booth as well as opened up the sleeper sofa to show you how much walk around room you'll possibly have if you're sleeping upwards of four, maybe five people. So two in the front, two on the sleeper sofa, as well as possibly one smaller toddler right here on the booth and just plenty of walk around room. Heading up to the front of the coach, queen size bed and a bedroom slide and check out the amount of room you're gonna have with that bedroom slide. One really cool thing is all the room you have to the left and to the right of the mattress, even room to possibly upgrade the mattress to a king size bed with that additional space on both sides. Shelving provided with 110 and 12 volt outlets on both sides as well. Breeze window with some additional shelving also provided. Closet trimmed out with one enormous mirror some additional shelving with a hanging rod for all of your belongings. Washer and dryer connections found in the closet, but if you don't want that, you can utilize that space for some additional storage. Here at the foot of the bed, you got some additional storage again with that second fireplace and maybe room for about a 40 inch television. And there's that second air conditioner out of there. Here in the bathroom, you can have a two piece plastic shower with a ceiling height of 81 inches high. You do have an eight inch step up to get into the shower, but once you're in there, ceiling height of around 73, maybe 74 inches high. Medicine cabinet also provided with the bathroom sink and some additional storage found underneath the sink. And just get a look at all the linen space you've got. Possibly 36 inches deep on every one of those cubbies that you see provided there. And a plastic 
foot flush toilet. Thanks for sticking around this long in the video. I greatly do appreciate it. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think of certain features like those LED lights found on this model. A date and time of making the video, MSRP on this coach of $52,169. For pricing and availability, I'll leave a link in the description taking you back to my website to view more additional photos as well. Leave me a thumbs up. They definitely do help. Like, subscribe, come see us.